Captain, I believe recently you've been given the great honour of being announced as the, the captain of the new ship that's coming out in the fleet, the, is it the Britannia? That's oh. right, yes. In, uh, in mid-March 2015, we'll be introducing a new ship, the Britannia, which I think is a fantastic name, which really reflects the fact that everything that we do is for our British passengers. And uh, She enters service, I say, middle of March 2015. She's larger than Azure and Venture at 141,000 tons and uh, in terms of lower berths, so typically Ventura and Azure will carry around 3,100, 3,150 and our new ship Britannia will carry uh, 3,600 passengers. Wow. So okay. quite a little, you know, quite an increase in size. Will this mean that you'll get to go to the, the, the yard at Fincantieri and see her being built as well? Yes, or? I will. She's going to be built in uh, Fincantieri's yard in Monfalcone, which is at the northern end of the Adriatic. It's the same shipyard that built Azura and Ventura. And so I'll be going out there, in fact, from March next year, backwards and forwards, to, uh, to see the ship being uh, you know, really brought to life. I'll also be going on sea trials, which I understand are in September of next year, and then really the work up to get the ship's company up and running and all the finishing off that the ship has to do. So she delivers in the end of February and we then bring her around to Southampton, of course, for the whole inaugural period and the, the naming ceremony. At the moment, I don't know who's going to name the ship, <laughs> but uh, that'll be in, the, say, the middle of March, and then she sails off on a maiden cruise. So, yeah, it's an exciting time for me. Amazing, exciting time. What a great honour, I mean, for you as, a, as captain to be given that Well, certainly it's going to be the largest addition to the P&O Cruises fleet. Uh, having seen the designs, I can't say too much, but no. having seen the designs, she looks absolutely fantastic. She encompasses all the things that we've introduced, all the contemporary things that we introduce with uh, Azura and Ventura, but she also has some of those classic features of ships like Oriana and Aurora. So uh, I think she's really going to appeal to everybody. I I'd like to think in particular to new first-time cruisers. I think uh, it's really going to capture the imagination of the British public. Well, we very much look forward maybe one day to, to interviewing you on the bridge of, of the Britannia. And, it would uh, be my pleasure. Thank you so much, Captain. Pleasure. Thank you.